I think everybody can watch the film and, and see what's going on. We're just letting guys get over top of us. Uh, that's where big plays happen. If we keep everything from top down, uh, we don't give up big plays. Um, and I think that's just you know something that we had to stop letting them do. If it wasn't for the big plays, are you encouraged with how the defense played so far? I mean, for sure. I mean, I think in the Jets game, we played a really good game. I mean, you take away five or six players or something like that, uh, we was pretty dominant. But other than that, if we if we if we let go, like I said, if we let go of the big plays, then the stats and everything looks totally different. Uh, so that's the the message of the week. If we can make teams draw the ball on us, uh, we think we'll be pretty successful. Yeah. How much are those big plays at any point in that game deflating? You know, because you see you're going at a good pace and right. they give up something like that. I would imagine it's a bit deflating. Yeah. I mean, it's. It's definitely annoying. You know, you come to the sideline, you're frustrated because you're feeling like you're playing a good game, and then one big play, boom, and then he score, and the momentum kind of shifts. Uh, but that's something that I try to do when I'm on the sidelines, telling guys that, hey, they got a big play, but no more big plays. And um, obviously, it happened again, but uh, that's always going to be the mess. When I come to the sideline, I'm not going to – I don't really try to be emotionally tuned to the game. Or, oh, they score, okay, now I'm down, or we're playing good and I'm up. I try to stay even killed throughout the entire game because we know it's a 60-minute ball game. Well, actually, that was a more than a 60-minute ball game. So we have to be clued in and locked in the entire game. Kevin, I'm sorry I missed your earlier comments about Trevor Lawrence. You were saying how similar he is to Zach Wilson, a mobile quarterback. Right. Arm. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I think he's more mobile. I think he's a great athlete. He's a He has a really strong arm. I mean, just watch a film. He did like a rollout pass and threw it back. Uh, against Houston game and threw a strike on the, uh, to the end zone. He's, he's an incredible passer. Uh, he's still a rookie quarterback, but in the, the day, you can see why they made him the first overall draft pick. He's been getting better uh, every single game, so I, I expect him to continue to get better. You kind of used uh, after the Jets game, so, you know, just because they're on three, they're not a bad team. Look at Cincinnati last year. Right. Cincinnati was a bad team last year. You lost to a bad team last year. Like, doesn't that mentality need, need to kind of shift? They're not good just because they beat you. You guys were bad because you got beat by Cincinnati in that game last year. Who was the question again? I'm sorry. <laughs> the mentality where you get beat by a bad team and that makes them good, should it be different? Uh, I mean, for sure. Uh, we don't need to lose any games. Uh, but, you know, I think that's more of a, you know, I don't really get caught up in, you know, you know, if this team is 0-3 or whatever. All these teams got good players. And if you let a a good player get on top of you or something like that, they're going to make the play. Um, so, like I said, I think we played pretty dominant throughout the game. But, like, for example, we know Corey is a, is a great player. I mean, he was a top five pick, and he made some big plays, and, you know, he made some plays. So, uh, I don't, you know, I do think the mentality has to be that we got to go out there and dominate teams, especially win matchups that we need to win and that we feel like that we're supposed to win. Uh, but, you know, I'm one out of 11 players on the team or one out of 53 or how many guys we got on the team. Uh, but I try to do my best to try to, you know, preach to the guys that, you know, the matches we're supposed to win, we need to win. And, you know, that's how the NFL goes. You got to win your one-on-one matchups, and that's what it's about.